Okay, this video is going to be on testing the McCullough chainsaw fuel cap. This particular fuel cap was used on the 1010 series 55, 555, 570, 700, 850, 80, 81, and on and on and on. McCullough used this cap on a large amount of their saws. Also, one thing to it, this will be dealing with taking and putting a vacuum and a pressure test, and you, you can do it with both versions of it. But I also have a video on the one with the brass insert. It can be rebuilt, to my knowledge. The one with the aluminum insert cannot be disassembled and cannot be rebuilt. So just bear in mind that if you watch the other video on how to rebuild these, you have to have the cap that has the brass insert in it. First we're going to take and we're going to put a pressure test on this and they should be able to be pumped up to five to seven pounds and hold in there somewhere. After that they're going to release, they're designed to release, there is a spring in there. But we're just going to place this over this right here try to get a good seal there we go we'll go into pressure and let's see right there I've got it at about six pounds pressure and as you can see it is holding like it should drain that off and now is what we're going to do is we're going to go into vacuum mode right here and we want to test and see that it does not hold a vacuum if you notice right there as soon as the pump stops trying to pull a vacuum it zeroes right back out and that's how one should work properly I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover the vent and see if we can't get it to represent one that has a defective duct bill valve into it. If you notice, with my thumb over that blocking that, that is what will happen on a defective duct bill valve. It will hold a vacuum. And is what that will do is, is that will starve your engine for fuel, causing you to run into a lean condition, uh, eventually destroying your piston, cylinder, rings, and your saw all together. And I will try to put a link to how to rebuild the one there at the end, like I say again with the brass insert right here. I hope this has helped.